If you have been on the quest of finding an easy system to capture articles and have them ready for whenever you want to process them, then this video might be helpful for you. In my quest to centralize everything in a single app, in this video I'm gonna show you how to replace Instapaper, Pocket or similar services like that with Notion. Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm a former engineer now running an online course creation agency. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Notion for making it your article saving vehicle. This is how I'm going to structure this video. First, we are gonna cover what we will need to set up in Notion for this system to work. Then I will make an example of a use case on how to use this system to then show you how I process the articles that I save by highlighting them and aggregating the knowledge in a different database. And finally, I will show you a bonus feature of this system. So make sure to stick to the end to see how everything comes together. Let's get into it. So first of all, this media capturing system contains three parts, the capturing method, the storing, and the processing. So I'm going to walk you through how to set up the three of them. Before I explain the capturing method, we need some place to place those media articles that we save. And for this, here in Notion, I have created this Media Vault database inside my Knowledge Hub. These terms I borrow from August Bradley, a fellow Notion YouTuber. And in here, you can see that I use the properties, of course, name, the source, the status to mark what is the status of each of the articles, the future value, I will explain this later, a link to my knowledge hub, I also will explain this later, the URL, the created and updated date, and the author, although the author I'm not using it very much. So here again, the most important property is the status. With that in mind, let's go to set up our capturing method. For capturing articles, I'm using a Chrome extension that is called Save to Notion, link in the description below. This is an independent extension, independent from Notion, created by an independent developer that I found to work much better than the Notion Clipper. And I'm going to explain you why. With this extension, you can create what they call forms. These forms can be set up in order to automate the filling of certain fields within our database automatically. So for example, let's say that we wanna capture an article and we want that whenever we capture that article, we always tag them as an article and also mark them as to do to inform us that we need to process that article. So this can be done automatically with this extension. So how to set it up? Once we have installed this extension, we can click on it. These are the two forms that I have already created, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna create it from scratch. New form and here, I'm gonna select the workspace, the database that I wanna save, whatever I wanna save to. This is gonna be my media vault. And here, this extension is going to bring all the properties that this database have. As you can see here, it's going to replace the icon, the front image, the URL, and the name is going to be the page title. So now, as I want to tag whatever I save through this form, as an article, I'm going to add a new field, select a property, and the source is going to be an article. And also I wanna tag it as to do, so I can process it later. So I'm gonna add a new field, and status is to do. Here there is an option to save the page content I always want to also save the page content so I can process the article entirely through Notion. So I will check this and that is it. I will click save and I have this new form created. So now that we have set up a way to capture articles, let's set up the third part of this system, which is the processing of those articles. I am a big fan of creating pages with a sole purpose. And in this case is to process the articles that I have not yet read. So let's go back to Notion. And here on my HQ page, I have this page, which is called Knowledge Review. And in this page, I have a link database to my Media Vault in which I am filtering these three statuses. The first one is the status that is doing 
this is whenever I'm processing an article, I'm going to check it as doing, and I don't want it to disappear from this view. That is the only purpose. The next one is whenever the status is to do. So whenever I save articles using the Chrome extension that I just mentioned, they will appear here. And this third one, I'm using it thinking of a mobile solution for capturing articles. On mobile, I don't have access to this Chrome extension. So whenever I'm sharing articles into Notion, I don't have the possibility to automatically set it as to do. So that status is going to be empty. So with these three filters, I have everything I need to process in my database. So this is all the setup that we need to do. Now let's see how this works in a real world experience. So this process begins whenever I come across with some interesting article on the internet. So here I have a rule. If the article is interesting and it's going to take me less than 30 seconds to read, I will read it right away. But if it's interesting and it's going to take me longer than that, I will save it using this system. And then whenever I allocate time to consume content, I will go to my knowledge review page and see what's in there. I have found that Sunday afternoon are perfect for this content consumption spree. I try to do it every Sunday, but I don't force myself to do it if I don't feel like. In this, I just let it flow opposite to my other systems. And if I feel like, I will sit down and consume everything that I have saved. My objective with these rules is to be intentional with my time and avoid being carried away by all the information overload that there is on the internet. So now let's go to my most common use case. Let's say I'm taking a well-deserved break from working five minutes in a row and I'm on Twitter and I come across this article. I will open it and we can see there is a pretty long article, right? So this is not going to take me 30 seconds to read. So therefore, as I found it interesting, it's talking about news in the age of abundance. By the way, this is an essay from Debbie Perel that I highly recommend that you check it out. It's going to take you like 30 or 40 minutes to read, but it's really worth it. So I'm going to link it in the description below. So as I said, I'm going to save it to Notion using the extension and selecting the media bold form. Save to Notion. And that's it. It's already saved. So I will close it and hopefully continue working. Also, if I come across an interesting tweet, I can use the same system for capturing tweets. Here I have this own tweet, so I'm going to save it using the form media vault. And even if this is automatically put as article, I can change it to social media and save it to Notion. And that's it. I will forget about this tweet and continue with my day. So by saving the article and not reading it right away, I don't get more distracted. And at the same time, I'm able to make time for consuming all the content together. Because I believe that when we consume content, we're in a different mindset than when we are producing content. So I like to separate them both. So now whenever Sunday comes across and I feel like reviewing the content that I've been saving, I will come to my knowledge review page and you can see that here you can find the two articles that I just saved. So I will open them as a page and I will start processing them. For this one, I will show you what I did because this I, I have already processed it. So now whenever I'm reading the article, I am highlighting all the parts that I see that resonate with me or that I find interesting or that I want to expand upon later. And I will do it across the whole article. See here some highlights, some more highlights. I've seen some highlighting methods in which people use more than one color depending on the priority or the importance of what they are highlighting. But I have found that for me, just using one color works pretty well because I value that simplicity. So now if I find that one of these articles are worth diving deeper into, I will aggregate some parts of those highlights into another database in which I store knowledge topics. Let me show you that database. I have this other database in which I just show topics. So for example, I have this topic of Facebook ads in which I have aggregated topics from these three different articles. And here, I have put all the highlights that I consider that they were worth saving here. So how I will follow this process, I will open on the left side the article that I'm reading 
I will check the highlights. And whenever I see something that is worth capturing in the Facebook ads page, I will just copy and paste it. For example, you can see that this highlight here in my Facebook ads page, I have down here, okay? Sometimes I also save what I don't highlight for having a little bit more context when I'm reading it. But I will just simply copy it and paste it here. And that is it. So once I'm done highlighting the article and putting the information that I want into these content specific pages, I will rate the article according to how likely am I going to find value in this article in the future. And that is it. I will say it as completed and to the next article. So now in the beginning of the video, I told you that this system has a little bonus feature. So which is this feature? Let me go back to my knowledge review page. And down here, I have a dropdown of everything that I have saved more than one month ago and that I still haven't read. You can see in the filter here that created is before one month ago. So if all the times that I'm reviewing my content, I'm not reading these specific articles, probably it's because they are not worth my attention and probably I can delete them. So from time to time, this also has no specific timeline. I'm gonna come here and delete the articles that I no longer wanna check. So as you can see, this is a very easy system to capture articles and then to process them in a very organized way. So I hope you like this video and if you are after more Notion productivity videos, I release a video every Tuesday. So subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when those come out. And also, if you like my systemized way of thinking, you can check the Notion Academy in the description below. It is my Notion online course where you are going to learn all the basics about Notion and then learn how to set up systems that work for your own life. Hasta la próxima!